Hey guys, I want to give you a quick update about Campi Flegre, the super volcano in Naples in Italy. We have another, well, the officials say another earthquake swarm. I'm saying this is over four weeks now. We're approaching week number five, at least with almost daily earthquake swarms. So there is another one going on right now. So let's have a look. So the last one is 1 1.8, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.4, 2.2. That all on November 9th, 1.4, but also if you go down here on November 8th, also a swarm, and then we go down November 7th, 2.2 also, and then on the 6th, on the 5th, on the 4th, on the 3rd, Vesuvius is speaking to us, but also Campi Flegri, Campi Flegri, and I can go back weeks like that. So let's have a look where the 2.2, where the epicenter of that is. And again, it's not a surprise as always. If I zoom in, of course, it's near Pozzuoli. It's near the Solfatara area. And again, this is one where I'm always speaking about. So if you look at, you see here that purple, pinkish, Tangenziale di Napoli. That is this street that I'm showing you here with all the columns and that, that road, it's a highway, Autobahn, Autostrada, um, that looks like this. And it's not retrofitted for earthquakes yet. Probably will take till end of 2027. And we have a lot of epicenters right there as if the volcano was to say, well, you've chosen that as your major evacuation route, but what if I collapse that with an earthquake prior to something worse, for example? Because the earthquake, the new earthquake or volcanic evacuation plan, well, they call it now volcanic eruption evacuation plan that they were just rehearsing on November 5th and 6th for the people that they want to evacuate by boat to Sicily and Sardinia. I've reported about that, guys. If you want to see that, check out my playlist, Campi Flegri. But for all the other people, they have dedicated roads that go straight up to the Via Tangenziale. And the plan is that people go to collection points where there's bus drivers and buses that directly lead them up to the Via Tangenziale. And uh, these earthquakes that we see there, we will definitely see larger earthquakes before a potential eruption. So what if that major evacuation route is damaged? And guys, you should really watch the video that I put in the end screen with the recent study that just came out yesterday that is telling us something about the slow earthquakes and what they're doing. Because what they're doing is basically they're infiltrating the volcano and that not for the better. And also what that study explains, why we will not see magnitude 6 or 7 most likely in this area. So the, the scientists have said magnitude 5, magnitude 5.1 is possible in the area. We already had this year too, 4.6, the highest ever recorded. And the problem is what also the engineers, the structural engineers, engineers that lived through earthquakes in Naples are saying, if we see a magnitude 5, hundreds of thousands will be at risk, homes will collapse, roads will be clogged, these homes are not retrofitted at all. It'll be an absolute mess and evacuation will basically be impossible. So now that's also brand new. They have allocated 1.4 billion euros to retrofit public and private buildings so that they're not collapsing and not blocking major evacuation routes. They're hoping with their evacuation that they will have 72 hours warning. But with a phreatic eruption, which is the most likely scenario right now, if that was to happen, that can come completely unexpected and out of a surprise. And that's a problem for the 80 plus thousand people that live in Pozzuoli in this area. And, uh, but also uh, in, in the greater red area, which is roughly 500,000 people. And then if we go through the whole area, like greater Naples, we have 6 million people. So these epicenters right at the Via Tangenziale that I just said it in my last video, they happen more often. That is not what we want and what we like to see guys. So let me get back to the normal earthquake list, right? Let's, let's have a look at, um, the 2.4 here, that was on November 4th. So what we see is 
we see clusters, these are only the ones that are above magnitude one. So we have more earthquakes. These are just the ones magnitude one and above. So I just feel we see more in the, for a volcano guys, higher ranges close to two, even over two. So the question is now, when will we see a bigger one? So are we heading towards a magnitude four something again? We already have a lot of buildings that have been constantly shaking, especially this year. We've had this massive earthquake swarm early in 2020. Uh, five. And here's a list of how many magnitude four plus earthquakes we already had, which is absolutely crazy. So since 2023, these magnitude four earthquakes have started. So are we heading towards that? The buildings are constantly shaking. They're constantly made weaker, but also the volcanic caprock layer is being made weaker constantly and that's kind of scary because we're getting study by study almost every day that tells us new things about how this caprock layer is weakening so that's why i'm putting this here in the end screen you should really watch that guys this was just a quick update like hype share this video and really i'm really reading through these studies and i'll try to explain it with a little bit of easier words what the scientists found and what is going on the one here is also very interesting because it tells us that earthquakes are lining up along a new fault that has been discovered that is weakening the caprock layer of campi Flegri. so so much that is basically a release on a daily basis. A new vertical crack, roughly a kilometer long, that is like a straw that connects the magma chamber potentially to the surface. And another study that is telling us that the deeper magma reservoir is also reconnecting with the surface of Campi Flegri. So overall, it's not looking good for the caprock layer that keeps the lid on this thing because it has already lost a third of its strength since the last unrest in the 1980s. So all these studies give us a broader picture and they line up study by study to give us more information. The scientists are learning more about this. So that's why I think they have now really named the last eruption drill for volcanic eruption risk and not only Brady seismic risk, earthquake risks, because that's what it is. We could see a phreatic eruption at any time, probably not a super volcanic eruption, but higher earthquakes, we just explained that. It's a risk Currently, the population that lives on top of this super volcano is very vulnerable. So I hope I see you in a second in the end screen. If you're interested in what the Interstellar Object 3i Atlas is doing, we can add more anomalies to that thing. Now that it's out of perihelion and we can see it again from Earth, people noticed some other strange things. It used to have an anti-tail, which was really strange and two tails basically, and now there's no tail. We have new images from November 5th. So the mystery about this thing remains. So if you wanna see that, I have a playlist about that too. And again, I said, subscribe, that's the best thing you can do. And in the description here, if you wanna buy me a coffee to keep me going, of course, thank you for that. And click the join button to become a member. And I hope to see you soon, bye-bye.